Hello you guys, I am doing finally my reaction for Benidorm Fest 224 and I am expecting big because 220 and like in general Benidorm Fest since it started it serves very nice show, it has very nice songs, it has viral songs, Noche Entera, and not only, so many others, they have been leaks of the songs. But I didn't get the chance to listen to them because uh, when I have been sent the links from some Spanish friends that I had, I was at work and I was thinking like, okay, I finished work, I tap on the link and I listen to the leaks, but it was deleted when I did it. And I'm glad that I did that because this is actually so against the artists and this is so disrespectful to go and listen to the songs, the leaks. It's a the work, the job of so many artists for so many months that they have been prepared for that and then you just go on the leak like you can't wait and I was one of them a bit but now I regretted it that I was gonna listen to the leaks so this is me first time listening to them because they came and they're out and I am on Eurovision World and from there I'll just do two videos like the first eight videos and then I'll go on the other eight videos and then at the end I'll always say like which one got my ear and which song was more of a hit for me but yeah I'll start already because it's exciting it's Spain it's one of the most beautiful languages and they will have Spanish songs and um, I'm ready I'm ready for this mixture of songs already I am ready so I am here and I am ready to start with Almacor, the song Bri Brios Platino. I see that people already have put it stars on it. It has four stars already, which is not bad at all. I mean, obviously people like it, so... He sounds a bit like, um, how is the, the boyfriend of Rosalia called? I forgot him. How can I forget him? He's so known. His song is, ex his uh, voice is exactly like this sounding. Platino, Brios, Platino. It's not bad at all. It's a very commercial song. It's a song that could be heard, you know, like on the radio. It can be downloaded on Spotify. It could be everywhere played. In a club. In a bar. I think this is. Um, oh, this is disturbing. Just go down. <laughs> Brillos Platino, Brillos. It's a very, very... This song is, for example, it could have his fans, but it could have the people that would be like, it's okay. For me right now, it's very catchy. The chorus and the music is very strong for for Eurovision in general. It could be very catchy to the ears of the people. Um, I'm excited to see the next ones. So I go to the next one, which is Hernandez, Second Soy. I hope I'm reading them in a good way, Second Soy. It has 4.3 for now, which is not bad for me. I really like the picture a lot. She looks a bit angry, and I can see that she's a bit rocky. 
I don't know if it's a rock song, but it she looks rocky. So this is very diff different from the first song. Different genre, I can say. So I did say it correctly, second soy. Yeah. Oh, it's Rocky! Pop. I cannot play the guitar, but I can pretend. I love it! And I was right! She is actually Pop Rocky. More Rocky. And it fits to her. I must be honest. I like this song more than the first one. Can soy aura se can soy. I need to know what aura se can soy means. Oh, I love this part. I love this part. I think I will already give it five stars because I'm allowed to vote. To the ones that I'm not sure, I'll not give yet, but. From first time listening to it, why not? This is amazing. She can rock the stage out. A hundred percent. Love it. Love. Love the vibe. And this is like going towards the end now. Second side. I would say. Very important that a person from Alemania, living in Alemania like me, can sing along. This for Eurovision is very important and she has it. Hey! Can say, out of can say. Amazing! Amazing! This song is. This song will be in my head all the time right now because I love it. I love it. So I'm going for De La Cruz with the song Beso en la Mañana. Oh, that's sad. He has 3.1 stars only for now. But I'm not judging because of that. I want to listen for my own years. Because maybe some of those people don't have a taste. Why not? I like his voice for now. This is super catchy for now. Beso en la mañana. Is beso en la mañana meaning kisses for tomorrow? Is beso. Muchos besos. This kiss you tomorrow? Kisses tomorrow? I don't know. Rara. Oh, this is more electric pop. I love it. For now, it's like Benidorm is serving like different kind of styles of songs, and I really like it. Una y otra vez. This song is such a happy mood song. Very radio friendly, also song, which is very important. I like De La Cruz. I like him so far a lot. So yeah, I actually like it. I'm not mad at it. Very good job for him. And we already the towards the end now. And I can say that I have some stuff stayed in my head, like Beso la mañana. And it's not repetitive at all, because sometimes those songs like this could be very repetitive. I like this guy. Nada. So, I go to the next one, which would be Jorge Gonzalez. Mi marido. Mi marido is Jorge Gonzalez. Uh, yeah. I follow him on Instagram since yesterday and I saw his pictures and I mean 
you cannot not see his pictures on his profile because they are there and they are beautiful and very attractive. So yeah, let's forget about his pictures. Let's listen to the Caliente song. And I'm excited because he could bring something good, in my opinion. Oh, da 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 da. He's, he's not only looking good, he has also a sexy voice. The, 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 oh. I like this Europea Americana. I am from Europa. Fuego. Ta-ta-ra. Oh. Okay, this song is like something else from those that we heard until now. Pa, pa. Caliente. What does caliente mean? This is such a known word. Oh! It has also English. Very, very good, Jorge Fernandez. I like that. This is such a Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin. Da, 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 da. I hope, I so hope that he can also dance. He has to be able to dance. No, okay, I'm just making it too much of a... No, I'll be more serious about this. Because I love it. I really like the song. I mean, people that follow my channel do know that I am very, very pop song person. Da. This is amazing. I don't know, I have not heard any other song of him. And I can say that Jorge Gonzalez, you better really bring this fuego on stage with a song like this. Imagine him dancing to this. This could be so eye candy. Complete eye candy for us watching. Oh, you can... Okay, as in now, audio. I really, really like also his voice. It's good. It was good. Jorge Gonzalez. My, my. Very good. Not bad. Uh, I go to Lerica with Astronauta. So it's a duo boys. Oh, they sound like... Very radio friendly. Oh, I think I like the voice of the one guy a lot. I don't know which one sings what. This song could really be a song sung at the Euro 224 for the Spanish team. Because it depends what kind of vibe they those two will bring on the stage. I like it so far. I like the parts where they sing more than the parts that they don't sing, actually. I don't know why. Because usually m music makes the song. I like the music as well, but I really like when they sing. Parto Planeta. Planeta, I know what it is. Planet. But I mean, I could definitely see people thinking that this could be too generic. Because for me, it's not too generic, it is a bit generic. Like how to, how to put it in a good way, say that I do like the song, but I do think that it has those moments of is it strong enough for Eurovision? Because you have 37 songs there. To the para. Now, if I compare it to the previous songs that I listened to already, I could say that I like a bit more the previous songs. Very well done for them, but 
and they made it to here to be one two three four five six so i go to mantra oh mantra is a so mantra is a group two boys one girl they look very young so i'm excited to see what kind of group they are mas ne me me vas a ver me vas a ver oh i like her voice also very easy to learn like easy to learn not the lyrics but to learn the the vibe of the song and to follow up the music I wish I could sing even this much this so far sounds to me a mo a, a, like a lot like um, it could be a soundtrack for some kind of Spanish series like a teenage spotted series and this could be like the nice soundtrack that comes between the scenes it's sweet it is sweet we had last year on benedon fest the twins and even though they were not so much liked in the audio they served on the stage vocally so much better than other favorite songs so this could be also like this but i do like the song it's a happy song it makes me very happy and that's important a song that makes me happy not bad not bad for mantra and now i go to marlena marlena oh it's a group it's a girl group okay because in greece we usually have maria lena as a name and it's for a girl's name so i always when i read it i was thinking like okay it's a girl but now it's a two girls group duo singing how is it so amor de verano i like the one girl being the one of the most 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 liked by me duo girls that have been ever for spain to go for eurovision was lo malo aitana and ana guerra why did they never go with this such an amazing song back then this is also very 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 radio friendly song uh, but i don't know you you don't know me i am listening to correctly are they singing like english i don't know yeah i don't know yeah uh, i like I like this part a lot. The English part I like a lot. But I don't know ya and you don't know me. Okay, it has its parts. The song has a bit parts where it's like a bit taking too long until it comes to the good part. But this part I like a lot. I really like Marlena's parts where it's exactly the chorus part and after the chorus part so i like them more than the other group that i heard before the mantra group if i have to compare it now because the two that i heard for the first time one after the other this i like more than mantra like i don't i don't feel bad for it but i don't know yeah you don't know me uh very nice one two three four five six seven ah i go now to maria pele pele i like this pele 
There has been a football player named Pele years ago, many years ago, right? Maybe it's not the same name. Or maybe she's his daughter or his wife. I don't know. This for now sounds very Spanish tango-ish coming. Oh yeah. She looks stunning on the picture. I like this. This is like if someone puts this song to a six years old, seven, eight years old kid and says, where do you think this is coming from? Without the kid knowing the language, I think the kid would say like Spain. This is Spain. This is tango. When I was young, I was like immediately thinking about flamenco, tango, and everything, and it was immediately taking me to Spain. I don't even know if those those dances come from Spain. Probably they do, because from childhood I was thinking always about Spain. A red bloody dress, and singing, and two dancers giving the tango of their life. I mean, okay, the song has a bit parts that are like not so strong. Now listening to it all, the song is very long, it's 4.33. I'm confused. The song is 4.33. They really have to cut. Maybe she can cut the parts where are a bit boring just sounding. A name that stays in your head. Yamatura Valera Soy. I like it. I like this is Spain made in Spain pa, 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 pa. this this reminds me a bit of the um, azucar moreno this uh, Maria Pele reminds me a bit of the azucar moreno duo women that have been even though maybe they it's not for other people but for me it is so, I listened to the first eight songs that are shown on Eurovision World and I'm gonna say which four songs really really made it in my head. One is for sure Angry Fernandez with Se Quien Soy, love the song. Second, De La Cruz, really like them. Very simple poppy electro, but really stayed in my head, like, because I listened to them the first time and it's... It's good. Jorge Gonzalez, every time that I will listen to this song, I will probably dance to it a lot. Caliente. This song is the song. And I really liked also Maria Pelé. Now the last one that I heard. So yeah, I like four of eight songs. But also now I cannot, I cannot say that I didn't like Almacor. I like this song too. But no, I stayed to the previous four that I really liked. And yeah, you don't have to have the same ones like me. But I mean, it's like those stayed in my head from first time listen. So from today until Benidorm, I will be listening to the songs all the time. And I will probably make up my mind which are really, really my top songs. But this is first time listen, first time reaction. And just saying, okay, this and this and this stayed in my head. So you can tell me on the comments which ones for you were very strong and which songs you think can do better than others. And the part two of the video is gonna come with the other eight songs.